welcome to another episode. Right, before I tell you what we're doing this time, just take a look at this, boys. Oh, shoot. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Load it up. Got the gear on my back. We're going to go set a fly camp up in the mountains. Oh, boys is here, as always. Pretty ammed on this one. Seriously, man. Oh, dead bird. Little dude. Little finch, poor little guy. Pretty amped on this one, man. It's been a pretty big mission to get back in here. I bought some of these trekking poles, finally. You guys would have seen, if you follow the channel, you would have seen that I'm normally using big sticks. Thought I'd fork out and get some of these suckers. I don't know if they're any good. We'll find out. We can spend eight days, 12 days up here if we want to. Um, there's a chance of finding red deer, tar, chamois. So really, I don't have any plan. We're just gonna see what we can find. I'd like to take, I'd like to take one nice animal at least. Just a little secret inside. On the way in here, I've seen a bull tar and a chamois buck already. So we're keeping those up our sleeves, boys. Anyway, we're heading up the valley and then we're just gonna live, live the wilderness life for the next, who knows how long. Real excited, I haven't been in here before. I've been e-scouting it for quite a while and just decided to head in there, so here we are. We're in for some cool country, man, and you guys are gonna love this one. Now, if you're new to the channel, we're all about Wilderness hunting, backpacking, just getting into some remote spots and finding some big animals. Full experience around here. Got the drone on board, got some cameras, got a heap of camera gear, so makes for a good watch. So if you're into this sort of hunting, wilderness stuff, make sure you subscribe now, guys. Big shout out to all the patrons that are signed up too. You guys are helping me do these adventures. It takes a lot of time and it's not cheap. So thanks again, guys, for joining up to the Patreon. If you want to join up, the link is below in the description. And I super appreciate it, man. Let's go, man. Trekking poles, are. I never thought I'd buy them. Pussy poles. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Check this out, guys. How nice is this bush? There's a deer sign around too. Hold stags on from the raw. Beautiful, man. This is why we get into these sort of places, eh? So I've just been sussing out a campsite on Google Google Maps, Google Earth and Topo 50. I reckon, if I show you this, right there about 400 metres away up the hill, I think is the posse that we're going to set up our camp, boys. Our first camp anyway. The bush is just amazing right now. I've got birds, I can hear some kias calling. We've got all sorts happening, eh? Just coming to the area that I want to be hunting. I'm just going to sneak over and have a have a look out of the bush edge across all this country, see what we can see. Ideally, I want to be camping further up the valley, up high, so I don't have to climb each morning. This looks really good. Come here boy, don't go too far. Alright, I'll put the pack down and then we'll have a little look with the binoculars and see if there's any animals handy. Boy, she looks bloody good here. The wind's coming into my face. We'll sneak up to that bush there and we'll sit down and see what we can see. had a good look, a real good look around there. What do you want, boy? Didn't see anything, but it's really nice country. There's tracking right up in the snow, the animal tracks right up the head of the valley in the snow, so there's definitely something here. So I think... You finished? You finished, boy? <laughs> so I think what we'll do is um, get the gear on my back again, and then we'll head up to that original spot I was looking at. 
So I'm just going to drop back into the bush here. And walk up through the bush to get up to that zone. Obviously if I walk along the bush edge, everything that's out there is going to be able to see me. And these critters that we're chasing, especially this tarn chamois, have razor sharp eyes man, they can pick you up so easily. So, And we're going to sneak our way up to get to that spot, set up our camp. Which is pretty steep man, just about at the top. You can see the top just behind me. <sighs> Hopefully there's a good campsite up there. Quite a bit of deer sign through here. Right. We're at the top now guys. Alright. This is probably all we need guys. A little flat spot like this. But then it's not far to get to this next ridge where we can glass into our hunting area. So pretty tucked away here. I quite like this spot. I think we're gonna set up right here. Right there where Nigsy Boy is. What a view man, wicked spot, a couple of trails down there, quite low down so I'll be picking their deer trails, there's a lot of them, they're all cutting across these scree slips, so we could see some stags on the move tonight boys, and then up higher, up higher is really nice country for chamois, hopefully tar, what do you think boy, pretty happy? Couldn't resist sneaking up here and having a little glass. We better get back down and set up camp and then we can really relax and, and have a proper look around for some animals. a few of these rocks out of the way. Getting there boys, getting there. There she is boys. Five star mate. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see, it's come up pretty good. Don't even need a sleeping mat with that, all that fluff underneath me. Bloody good. Still gonna put my sleeping mat out though. <laughs> Bloody beauty boys. Camp shoes. <laughs> you can tell I'm from the coast when I'm camping with these eh? Northland mate. Food, Nigsy boys food. We'll go get some water. Look, deer poo right by camp. There's camp. Hey, we might be in a bit of a deer's paradise right here. Don't have to go far from camp and you've got views like this. Mate, on every episode I always say get out and enjoy New Zealand. I mean, look at this couple of days and I've found myself in this bit of paradise. New Zealand's there to be enjoyed man so even if you're not into hunting some crazy fishing up here also just hiking back into here would be pretty cool photography and stuff so New Zealand get out there enjoy it. Right water How's that for nice water? Don't laugh at my fancy water bottles either. My personal rule when I'm doing these wilderness hunts, first mission is to set up camp, so we've done that now. I'm gonna take some food and the hunting gear, and then we're gonna head over to our ridge just up through the trees here, and glass all down into that country that we're gonna be hunting. So yeah man, let's go hunting. What do you think of that little bird, boy? What do you think of that little bird? He should be pretty happy in there tonight, hey boy? Should we go hunting? Alright guys, I've actually come two ridges 
so, but two ridges further than I originally said. But yeah, we're gonna get a much better view from this ridge right here. Really nice, really, really nice. I've dropped my back here. My lips got frickin' hammered when me and Jack were doing that tar hunt on this tar hunt here. They were cracked and bleeding for days, so I got some of this. <laughs> Try to look after them a bit better. That wind and that sun, man, gets them. If you haven't seen this tar hunt, it shouldn't be too far away. I'm not sure if it's gonna go out before this video that I'm filming now or after. Such an epic mission. I'm just gonna layer up. It's gonna get cold pretty soon and I wanna be ready for that. Such a nice spot to be glassing from, man. I can't get over this little posse. It's like another little sniper spot. I could probably shoot a lot of these little ridges in front of us, maybe even down to the bottom. So yeah, nice place to be sitting this evening, that's for sure. We should be able to see something from here. Been a bit quiet so far boys, but we're just coming into the right time now. It's about five o'clock, so we've got another hour and a half, two hours with the daylight, but it's gonna get real good. This is this is the prime time. I've swapped jackets. Oh boys, he's got my other jacket, he was getting a bit cold. Just seen a deer down here. I put the camera on him. Looks like a young looks like a spiker coming out and feeding in that last bit of sunlight. It's pretty cool. Nice, that's cool to see. I want to tell you, it's getting that time of night. Things are starting to move. What do you think, boy? Hey? Bit of venison there for you. <laughs> but no, we're not going to shoot it. We're not going to shoot that one. We'll keep an eye on it though, because this time of year, most likely a couple more with it. Getting long shadows, getting to the time boys. This is the prime time. Just spotted a tar way up the valley. So we've got the big camera on it now, you guys are probably looking at it. Where there's one there should be more. So it's good to see tar up there. Nothing else yet though keep looking so we're all set up anyway day one done and dusted so if I see something else you guys will see it but if not this will probably be the end of the video whole Nixie boy wrapped up in a jacket part two ah oh, you are not gonna believe it Let's go boys. Oh, let's go boys. 
you American guys, your lingo's wearing off on me. Whew.